To set up balance detection, you need to know the size of the screen. If the girl hits the width of the screen in this direction, or zero on the left-hand side, the character will stop. To do this properly, you also need to know two other points. One, what is the size of the character? You can also grab that with size. And what is the anchor point of the character? I've made two modifications to the pubspec.yaml file on a brand new Flutter project. The first is just simply just setting up the assets area. The second is to import flame 1.0.0. Current time, the newest release is RC7. I then put a character in here for the assets so that we can test it. I'm going to delete everything so that we have a simple piece of code to look at. Import flame. I've set up a base game class. I'm going to instantiate the class. Same name on line 9 and line 5. It's my game. So we're going to run a game widget here. And it's the same name right there. Oh, we don't need my app. A print size in the onload. This will run automatically when the game is loaded. You can see that I'm getting a two element array down here. Uh, the first one is the width and the second one is the height. These are in pixels. So the screen is completely black, but the screen would be 759 wide and it'll be 392 high. Import the component. And then let's create a sprite component. A new variable called character here on line 11. So this will load the image from the assets folder right here. It's the same file name, character.png and character.png right there. We're going to use cascading. So it's just adding uh, the two dots just means that it's the character is instantiated and then you just add sprite. Uh, sprite's a keyword in flame. Make her 200. So I'm going to set the anchor point to the right. It's a keyword anchor. And to make the character appear is just the word add. It's a keyword in flame. And it's the name of the sprite. Set the X to the width of the screen. <clears throat> oh, I can't see her. She's up too high. Character sprites actually 
it's a square and the right edge of the actual sprite is up against the mobile app edge here. So she's actually all the way over on the edge of the screen, which is 759. So let's just place her in the center for now. And then it's the center because it's the left, uh, it's the right edge that's the center. Because of the anchor point, it's the center right. So in the update method, let's move her. Let's set up an if statement to make sure she, she doesn't go off the screen. So the character has an X component. And if it's less than the width of the screen, then we'll push her over one pixel to the right. So she's hit the edge of the screen and she can't go any further. We'll be producing more videos for platformers and collision detection. Collision detection is very similar to the bounce. So if you like this type of video, give the video a like, uh, check it and um, see what to produce next. Also subscribe to it because we'll be building out this and you can learn more skills with Flutter and Flame. It's going to be a lot of fun.